see more fossil and the black hole report a retro blast of thrusters straight from the heart of the swirling vortex of innuendos rumors text tweets from cyberspace that we've been identified as life as we know it the message this week from up on the hill is shocking it's revolutionary it's way out there the message is time for them all to come out out of the shadows out of the closets out of their bizarre clothing and strange companions. No, not lesbians and gay athletes, although that's exactly what NBA center Jason Collins has done. I'm talking about the E.T. space invaders, creepy green guys who seem to have been dropping in on us since we could scribble a lifelike impression on a cave wall. And that might be one result of a hearing taking place all week with former congressional members and a who's who's list a what's what with a what's that was that at the National Press Club in D.C. They're having a whole week of international researchers, military and agency witnesses. OK, so it won't solve the debt crisis or get more jobs or even help the Washington Wizards win one more game. But then again, it might if there's inside info Monsanto can patent, right? A former congressman, Mike Gravel, said, I don't know if it's little green man or purple man or if it's any man. All I know is that worldwide, there's thousands and thousands of sightings. Some of them may be hallucinatory, but under close examination, they are real sightings. That's something we don't know of. He should know, as he was a former special agent in the counterintelligence corps. Now, I know a lot of us get our best intelligence leaning on the counter, watching the outer limits, but apparently the classifieds in the Pentagon are not on Craig's list. So we have to play who do you trust with people who, um, well, we don't trust so much. Former Congresswoman Darlene Hooley asked uh, well-known UFO investigator Stanton Friedman, why aren't we hearing more about sightings around the world? And Friedman said, it's not about how much is going on, it's more about how much do we hear about the sightings? How many UFO reporters do you know? Well, Stanton, that's really stretching it just a little bit seriously. If we had UFO reporters, then how could we have anyone count on us to tell us what Beyonce had for dinner last night? Now get your priorities straight, man. Speaking of going straight, Jason Collins, an NBA center, came straight out of his sexual orientation with much applause from people worldwide. Some even saying he's a hero for doing it. Well, Ben Shapiro, an editor at large for Britbart.com, uh, they have editors at Britbart? Well, who knew? Anyway, said this, so Jason Collins is a true hero because he's gay. Our standard for heroism has dropped quite a bit since Normandy. Well, he ought to know. I mean, some of Ben's true heroes are Mark Levine, a talk show host. Adam Carolla, the stupid one from The Man Show. And of course, Ted Cruz, because he's the it in idiot from Congress right now. And a fella needs heroes. No, I don't remember any of them serving in World War II. Uh, uh, actually, none of them or Ben Shapiro has served in any armed forces. So yeah, those are your heroes, Big Ben. So shut up or man up and enlist. So props to Jason Collins for his personal brave move. Oh, well, I gotta go. This is Seymour Foxhole and the Black Hole Report. My ride home just arrived.